When it comes to Italian bikes, forget about the usual concerns like affordability, operational costs and reliability. These machines are all about pure emotions, shockingly attractive designs and unrivaled performance on the open roads. Today we would like to kick off a mini-series about new motorcycles grouping them by the country of origin. The roundup of the latest Italian models comes first. So close your visors not to get blinded by these beautiful bikes and their painfully high prices. Before we begin, subscribe to Automotive Territory to get notified about the most informative top 10s on YouTube. Enjoy the ride! Ducati Superleggera V4 In lightness my strength, this iconic motto of the 1199 Superleggera from 2016 is even more befitting to the new model by Ducati, which is the world's only street-legal motorbike with an all-carbon fiber load-bearing chassis structure. The project was developed on the basis of the Panigale V4R, which donated its 998cc Desmo Sedici unit with 224 horsepower. Notably, if the racing kit with the Akrapovich exhaust is installed, the milk would be further boosted to 234. To achieve the astonishingly light weight of 350 or even 335 pounds, hence power to weight ratio of 1.54 HP per kilo, the rear swing arm, rear frame and rims were made of carbon fiber. For the reduction came from titanium spring shocks from Allens and a bunch of titanium screws. Only 500 Ducati Superleggeras will be produced, and they will be sold to the existing owners of the previous generations of the Spike or owners of other top spec Ducatis. Aprilia Tiono V4X Labeled as the Super Tiono, the new V4X limited edition presents a more extreme, track only take on the regular model. Developed and assembled by Aprilia Racing, the bike starts with an RSV4X chassis fitted with Allen's Smart EC 2.0 semi active electronic suspension and Marquesini wheels. It also wears slightly more body work than the Tuono, getting a new carbon fiber fairing with the RS and GP winglets. The power plant of the bike is the familiar 65 degree V4 that has been enlarged to 1.1 liters. It makes 221 HP and is capable to produce over 180 mph speeds. The engine exhales through the Akropovich performance exhaust and gets a Prilia ECU with specially developed riding modes. Among other things, we should also mention its dry weight of just 365 pounds, standard Brembo brakes and a TFT display designed for the track use. MV Agusta Super Veloce 800 Those riders who were not fast enough to snatch one of the 300 units of the limited edition Super Veloce 800 Serie Oro now get a chance to own a gorgeous, mass-production version of the bike. The model keeps the overall styling of the Oro, getting the same cafe racer look, retro classic fairing and elegant elliptical LED headlights with a double function element. The Super Veloce 800 rides on the F3 800 platform and is motivated by a 798cc three-cylinder. The engine does not get detuned even a bit, so it still peaks at 148 horsepower at 13,000 RPM, being able to push the SMV Agusta to 115 pH. It has four riding modes, the preset sport, race and rain, plus the fully adjustable custom. The spike tips the scales at 380 pounds try and guarantees unforgettable riding emotions both on roads and track. Ducati Multistrada 950S GP The first Multistrada 950 premiered just three years ago, in 2017, and last year it added a more luxurious, comfortable and tech-packed version labeled as the 950S. In 2021, the bike arrives boasting of a new MotoGP-inspired GP white livery, designed by the motorcycle manufacturer Borgo Panigale. It can be paired either with alloy or spoked wheels. Performance-wise, the 937cc Testastrata 11 degree engine remains unchanged, peaking at 113 horsepower and 71 pound feet, but it now conforms to the Euro 5 emission standards. The 950S pairs the L21 mil with a 6 speed gearbox with an up and down quick shifter. The bike gets advanced electronic suspensions with the Ducati Skyhook suspension Evo system, cornering ABS from Bosch, 
several writing modes, and traction control. There is also a full LED headlamp with new cornering lights, a 5-inch DFT instrument cluster, and cruise control. BMO Tatasi H2 This motorcycle manufacturer almost went into oblivion after going bankrupt in early 2000s. But in 2019, the Japanese Kawasaki decided to throw Bimota a life jacket. Enjoying limitless access to the company's supply chain, coupled with its own 47 years experience in custom building, this year Bimota launches an all-new supercharged model. Weighing 456 pounds dry, the H2 is powered by a liquid-cooled 998 supercharged and lane for cylinder which makes 231 horsepower and 104 pound-feet of torque. Two Allen's TTX shocks are mounted within the rear aluminum swing arms, while the stopping power is provided by powerful Brembo Stilema calipers. Apart from the powertrain, the TAS H2 also sources Kawasaki's electronics, including a bi-directional quick shifter, launch control, and a 9-stage traction control. Luckily, in terms of exterior styling, Bimota remained loyal to its roots. The bike gets sharp front-end design, angular side fairings, extra white seat, and the brand's signature red and white color scheme. Would you like to see more reviews that group new motorcycles by the country of origin? If so, smash the like button and leave a comment saying I want more bikes. Thank you for the feedback and let's get back to it! Aprilia RS660 The new middleweight by Aprilia began as their attempt to make a more affordable, down-to-earth model with plain usable power and some Italian flair. The bike received a 660cc forward-facing parallel twin with 100 horses that is still compact enough to fit on a newly developed slim and lightweight chassis. Both the frame and the swing arm are performed in aluminum, allowing for the dry weight of 372 pounds. The front suspension is represented by 41mm forks, while at the rear there is no linkage between the subframe and the suspension. Among the bike's signature features are its triple LED headlights accompanied by LED DRLs, plus there are advanced cornering lights and self-canceling indicators that flash in case of emergency braking. The RS660 comes with a comprehensive electronics package, including adjustable traction control, wheelie control, a quick shifter, five riding modes, and cruise control. Ducati Panigale V2 Introduced as a 2020 model, the V2 sports bike replaces the previous 959 model as the entry-level motorcycle in the Panigale range. It boasts a similar monocoque chassis, a recalibrated Super Quadro engine, advanced electronics based on the 6-axis inertial platform, and more comfortable ergonomics. The bike gets a 43mm Showa Big Piston fork with full adjustability, while at the rear there is a new Ducati Signature aluminum single-sided swing arm and Sax monoshock. The 955cc L twin engine now makes 155 horsepower and 77 pound-feet, and it becomes Euro 5 compatible. Though quite compact, the Benigali V2 still has Ducati's dramatic styling, with double-layer fairing, LED head and tail lights, large air intakes, and V4-inspired five-spoke wheels. By the way, in 2021, the V2 abandons the exclusive all-red exterior and adds a white color scheme option with Rosso accents. Fante Caballero Scrambler The special edition Caballero commemorates the 50-year heritage of the Italian motorcycle company and gets an exclusive exterior styling with the anniversary number plate on the side. The model boasts an Italian tricolor stripe along the tank, which is offered in either red or blue paint finish. Among other aesthetic changes are a stylish front fairing, a little headlight grille, a sump guard, and a black tank bag. The new Fante Caballero Scrambler 500 gets a 3-inch lower seat position and a bit softer suspension setup represented by the Fantec FRS 41mm upside-down fork and monoshock. In addition, the model arrives with a new engine mapping for smoother power delivery and throttle response. The latter tweaks do not add any numbers to the current specs, though. The 449cc liquid-cooled single-cylinder engine 
still delivers the same 40 horsepower and almost 32 pound-feet of torque. MV Augusta Brutale and Dragster 800 RR SCS. The duo of Augusta's Mean Street Fighters are joining Turismo Veloce Sport Tour as the models to get equipped with the brand's bespoke smart clutch system, which is now updated to the 2.0 version. Developed in cooperation with Reckless, this system is claimed to revolutionize the industry since it is able to automatically disengage the clutch once you stop the bike and restart it once you release the throttle. The clutchless shifting allows these MV Augustas to squeeze more from the 798cc 3-cylinder, which now produces 140 horsepower and 64 pound-feet of torque. The new Brutalian Dragster share a similar exterior language with the low-positioned headlight framing, attractive curves of the fuel tank and the bob tail. Plus, let's not forget the boomerang-shaped side cowling and of course the slash cut triple-tipped exhausts. Ducati Hyper Mozart 950RV The supermotor-inspired line of Ducatis is joined by the mid-tier RV, which was developed as a follow-up to the 2019 Hyper Mozart 950 concept. The newcomer recaptures its livery and graphics, plus gets an up-and-down quickshifter. The so-called graffiti color scheme emphasizes lightness and aggression of the model. It was performed by using ultra-thin water slide decals and should possess long-lasting qualities. The seat is flat and wears a special covering with a dedicated tone on tone Ducati logo. This bike keeps the standard Hyper Mozart family engine, the 937cc Testa Strata 11 degree twin, 114 HP and 71 pound feet strong. The rest of the standard packaged goodies are Bosch cornering ABS with slide by brake function, Ducati Traction Control Evo, and Ducati Wheelie Control Evo. FB Montial Flat Track Today, the 5x rider and 5x manufacturer world champion is miles away from its former glory. But after its 2014 rebirth, the FB Montial is making big moves to reclaim the status of the industry's leader and even attempts to enter new market segments. The FB Montial Flat Track model is a dirt track bike that wears road-ready tires and gets all the necessary optics to also pass as a street-legal motorcycle. Its distinctive exterior features include 19-inch spoke wheels, extra-wide handlebars, and hidden headlights that are mounted under the front number plate. The power comes from a liquid-cooled 124cc single cylinder that sends 15 horsepower and 8 pound-feet of torque down to the rear wheel 3.6-speed transmission. The 2020 flat track 125cc is Euro 5 compliant. It gets a new generation exhaust system and revised engine mapping. What do you think about the upcoming Italian bikes? Are you dying to own one of these gorgeous machines someday? Share your thoughts in the comments below and request new lineup reviews by saying I want more bikes. Subscribe to Automotive Territory, smash the like button and proceed to exploring other videos by clicking on the icons on the screen. May the torque be with you!